Okay, in today's video, we're going to look at value for money and household bills. The first question I'm going to look at in terms of looking at value for money is question six on page 59 of our book. So let's have a read first. So Susan decides to book a family holiday to Portugal. Two packages appeal to her. So package A is a one week stay in a hotel costing 371 euro plus two day trips costing 70 euros in total. Package B is a two week stay in the same hotel costing 672 euros plus four similar day trips costing 95 euros in total. So what we need to do is cost, uh, calculate the cost per night for each package, calculate the cost of one day trip for each package, and based on our calculations, which package offers the best value for money. So let's look at the cost per night first of all. So in package A, we are looking at a one week stay, which is 371 euros and two day trips that are costing 70 euro. In package B, we're looking at a two week stay, which is costing 672 euro and four day trips, which cost a total of 95 euro. So let's have a look at breaking it down. So in package A, first of all, the per night rate, right? Because in part one, we want to find out what is the cost per night for each package. If one week costs 371 euros, then obviously to get a per night rate, we divide the 371 by seven because there are seven nights in a week. So 371 divided by seven gives us 53 euros per night. In package B, we're looking at a two week stay, which is 14 days. So therefore we're looking at 672 divided by 14, which gives us 48 euros per night. So that there is the cost per night for each package. So we can see there package A costs 53 euros a night, package B costs 48 euros a night. Moving on to part two, we're looking at costing the cal calculating the cost of one day trip for each package. So in package A, there are two day trips for 70. So that means that 70 divided by two is 35 euro per trip. In package B, we're looking at four day trips for 95 euros. So 95 divided by four gives us 23 euros 75 per trip. All right, part three. Based on our calculations, which package offers the best value for money? So looking at it, the package B offers a lower cost per night and offers a lower cost per trip. So therefore you could argue that package B offers the lower cost. However, you could also argue that because in package B you're staying away for two weeks, you have additional costs such as food and expenses, spending money, etc., for two weeks as opposed to one week with package A. So there's arguments for both. You defer these kind of questions. You just have to back up your information, back up your answer with information from the question. In this case, I'd probably be saying that package B offers a better value trip because it is 40 euros per night and 23 euros 75 per trip. And you could calculate how much cheaper it is per trip as well. Okay. So in all value for money questions, this is what you're going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at comparing two different um, items or two different um, packages um, that are, are two the prices of two items from two different retailers, etc. Okay. The other type of question I want to look at in this video is bills. So household bills. We're going to look at question number 11 here, uh, the mobile phone bill. So we have obviously on a mobile phone bill, we have your account number, your period, the invoice date, the usage, the text messages, the total usage charge, your standing charge, your total charges, and then your VAT. So the way a bill works is for the usage especially, and this is this works for all kind of household bills like electricity, gas, etc. You have your usage. So all your network your network minutes used, there are 358. There is 180 free minutes, so that's the free amount of minutes that you get, and then you are left with the minutes to charge. So obviously, if we have 180 free minutes, 
the A represents the minutes that we're actually charged for, which is the difference between these two figures. Each minute is charged at 24 cent per minute. So therefore, we just multiply the number of minutes by 24 to get our bill amount here. The text messages work the same way. We have a total of 176 text messages. We are looking at 150 free text messages. So therefore, B is the amount of text messages remaining and each text costs us eight cent. Your total usage car charge comes from adding together these two figures. A standing charge is a set charge that will be charged every single month on uh, electricity, on uh, broadband, mobile phone, etc. And that's part of every bill. So your total charges are a combination of these two. And then you have your taxes added on and you'll be given your rate of tax here. So if we look at in terms of calculating these values, all right, when we're looking at working it out on paper and the, the working that we need to show for A, A is the number of minutes that we are charged for. So if we have 180 free minutes and the total is 358, all we must do to calculate A is 358 minus 180. So 358 minus 180 gives us an answer of 178 minutes. Now what we can do to check it is if we multiply that 178 by 0 0.24, so 24 cent, that does give us the answer 4272. So we can check our answer as well. For part B, we're looking at, we have 176 text messages in total, less or 150 free texts. So 176 minus 150 gives us 26 text messages that we are actually charged for. And for part C, we have to find out the charge for the text messages. So it tells us here that each text messages, each text message costs us eight cent. So multiplying our 26 here by 0 0.08, that gives us a text message charge of two euro and eight cent. Now we have to make sure and include the euro sign for this one because it is a cost. All right. So always make sure that in your working out in your copy or in your exam paper that you include whatever units are appropriate. For part D, we are looking at uh, calculating the VAT on the amount. So the total charges for the bill is 70 euros and 80 cent. VAT is charged at 23%, so therefore we're looking at 70 euros and 80 cent multiplied by 23%, and that gives us a VAT charge of 16 euros and 28 cent. We always make sure and round that to the nearest cent. We can also check our answer by looking at the difference between these two figures here, because the total due, the total bill amount is 87.08. The total charge is 70 euros and 80 cent. If we subtract those two, we should get our um, that amount here, which is 16 euros and 28 cents. So that's a way of checking that we are correct with those questions, okay? So with bills, always make sure you read the information in the bill carefully. There'll be different types of bills that you'll be given. Sometimes you'll have to find costs of multiple items. So say, for example, you're going for a car service. If one tire costs 120 euros, you'll have to calculate the cost of four tires, etc. So with these questions, I'm going to give you a couple of questions in an assignment based on this video, and it'll be coming from pages 59, 60 and 61. All right. If you have any questions, please drop me an email. Thank you.